Today marks 20 years since Omaha police officer Jimmy Wilson Jr. died in the line of duty. And Jessica Gale spoke exclusively to his family this evening, and they say that even after all of this, Jim's memory still lives on. He was a prankster, all right. And this week, in particular, Jimmy Wilson Jr., better known as Jimbo, to his family, is making his presence known. Everything from a broken down dishwasher to a malfunctioning fridge, you name it. Jim was full of life and laughter. Um, as a matter of fact, sorry. Okay. Hello, Jim. Hi. <laughs> See? <laughs> full of laughter. His spirit lives on, and his family has found a way to laugh again. But according to his sister, Jeannie Wilson, time does not heal all wounds. You see, Jimmy died in the line of duty back in 1995. It was during a traffic stop near 40th and Blondo that two men, both believed to be gang members, had jumped out of a van and opened fire. Jim had just started his career in law enforcement at the age of 24. No one heals from a loss of a loved one, but... Through a foundation that was set up in his honor and at least six other lives that have flourished, all thanks to his organ donations, his family takes comfort in knowing their son and brother is still with them. They also take comfort in the amount of support they continue to receive after all these years, especially when it comes to social media. This wouldn't happen in California necessarily. This wouldn't happen in a lot of other communities. But this happens here where we live in this great city. Um, and that's why we feel very blessed. Jimmy Wilson Jr. gets his name from his father. That's Jimmy Wilson Sr., who was also an Omaha police officer. It was his dad who actually started the Jimmy Wilson Jr. Foundation, which helped purchase dozens of cameras and body armor for not only the Omaha Police Department, but several other smaller departments as well. Reporting live with photographer Alex Hassel, I'm Jessica Gill, WOWT 6 News. Thank you, Jessica. Another